a public cervix announcement. Women of a certain age and the sex thing. Presented by Stilla Frog. When women are of a certain age, so the story goes, they no longer like sex. The perception is that they are far less interested than they were once upon a time in their bouncy 20s or experimental 30s. If you were to conduct a straw poll of those poor, sex-starved husbands out there, you'd get answers like, she has a headache every night, or I've never seen anyone fall asleep so quickly, or she's just not in the mood. Ever. To hear them tell it, we are the conjugal gatekeepers and the gate is always closed. It's an age-old debate. Men want sex, and women, well, we can take it or leave it. And so we are here to tell you... It's totally true. You got us, guys. We're just not as driven by our carnal urges. I think it's safe to say we'd prefer a more predictable sex schedule. Yes, I did pronounce that Britishy because it just seems to call for a Britishy pronunciation. We've earned the right to have sex on our terms, our British terms. Here's the thing, guys. And yes, I'm talking to you, put upon husband, having to sneak watch porn while your wife's at work or in the shower or downstairs cleaning up the kitchen. Oh, and by the way, why isn't your ass down in that kitchen cleaning instead of her? Uh, okay, but that's a whole other rant. Here's the thing, sad husband whose wife won't touch him like she once used to, whose wife won't wear the same lacy lingerie and thus do her best to impersonate your own private Victoria's Secret model. You know that shit's not real, right? You know the catalog models and Victoria's Secret angels or whatever they all they're called don't get up looking like that, right? You know it takes teams to make them look that good, right? I'm talking teams with a capital Kardashian. Hair, makeup, clothes, skin, teeth. I think they even have a person on ass duty. Lift it, tape it, tuck it, make it look perky and runway worthy. FYI, the last thing I would ever want to do when wearing lingerie is walk down a runway in heels <laughs> with people watching and cameras clicking and, and, and eyes judging. With me, it's more like um, an awkward, hey, honey, how do I look? And then I quickly scurry into bed under the covers, safe and sound. He can then run his hands all over it, take it off, whatever he wants to do. I don't care. I did my part. I put the thing on. Check. As I was saying, all you men out there whose wife of uh, 20 plus years will no longer perform all of the sexual tasks that once upon a time she pretended to love. So, you know, no woman likes to do that. If you believe otherwise, you are living in la-la land, pal. You go ahead and delude yourself, bragging about, are you kidding? My old lady loves to give blowjobs. Loves it, I tell you. I even hate the damn phrase. You do know a man came up with that. No woman in her right mind would be sitting there one night looking at her naked boyfriend or husband and suddenly be like, hey, light bulb moment. I think it would be fun to put that in my mouth and suck on it for a long period of time. Yeah, I gotta agree there. Those porn performers, though, they make it look so... Uh... Easy? enjoyable, doable, given their complete lack of gag reflex. And that right there is why men are so totally screwed up about the sex thing. Porn. Which goes back to the point I was making. I, I, I hate to break it to you, fellas. Women of a certain age are not porn performance inclined. I, I'm not saying all women. There are exceptions weirdo exceptions and i'm not saying we don't watch our share of porn of course we do but porn is a fantasy derived solely from the male mind it's the brainchild of a bunch of horny guys left to their own devices trying to come up with stuff other horny guys left to their own devices would want to watch 
which then leads to these horny men getting bright ideas about what women are really like in bed or in random department store changing rooms or janitor's closets or in restaurant bathrooms. Ew. Or while walking in the park in broad daylight. The point is... Men should never get bright ideas when it comes to sex. Stop with the bright ideas already. That's actually an oxymoron, at least where men are concerned. Bright ideas? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Look, we like sex, okay? And we want to make you happy as far as satisfying certain urges you may have. But with us, it usually has to be right. The right time, the right setting. The right lighting. And by that, we mean no lights at all. Well, a couple candles wouldn't hurt. And not after a three-course meal. Oh, yeah. Light, healthy meal only. Preferably plant-based. And a couple of hours later. And more than 30 seconds of foreplay wouldn't kill you. Mood music, maybe. And on a bed. Preferably a bed. <laughs> Sometimes I have this back thing. See, my son was all back labor. Six and a half hours. And yeah, that was 17 years ago. But I'm still feeling the effects. We're not saying that on occasion we're not up for the wild, spontaneous kind of sex. I like spontaneous and wild just as much as the next woman. Blindfolds are cool. And I also don't mind handcuffs. Not like serious handcuffs, though, just like the plasticky play kind that you can get at the dollar store. Just so that in case my arms or wrists start hurting or something happens, I can just break them apart. You know what else can be fun? Whipped cream and, like, chocolate. Yeah, but not near my hair, though. Then it gets all sticky and it becomes like a whole situation and I just have a mess to deal with in the morning, especially if I just washed my hair. So we do enjoy sexual spontaneity and experimentation, but within reason. And as for that other thing, that dreaded phrase that shall remain nameless. You better have done something really worth it. Really worth it. I'm talking surprise trip to Europe worth it. And not just one stupid country. All of them. Diamonds are always good too. Don't underestimate a well-chosen diamond. Even just handling all the house and yard work for a day or two or a week or two or the rest of your life. <laughs> I, for one, hate cleaning the bathroom hate it. So maybe if, guys, you were to step up to the plate, or toilet bowl, as it were, and do all the things we hate to do. Then maybe we'd do the thing we hate to do. Maybe. We'll see. So, there you have it, men. It's not that hard to make us happy. And in return, we'll make you happy. Maybe. We'll see. Uh -huh.